Welcome to Miles Entertainment. My name is Jesse Milestone, and I had the privilege uh, of visiting Galaxy's Edge um, early in, in those those early chunks, those little four-hour chunks. Um, I had the pl pri privilege of going to do that, and um, saw it. Rode Smuggler's Run, Millennium Falcon ride. Drank in the cantina, did all the things. Uh, took some videos, so I'd like to share that with you. Uh, so I hope you enjoy my magical journey uh, through Batu. Galaxy's Edge uh, in Disneyland, and at the end we'll do a nice little recap of all of my Fifi's on the matter because I have some. Galaxy's Edge, we are walking in right now. And that's the next way. Pretty, pretty exciting to think this one, I guess. Even the trash cans are themed. Can't have normal looking trash cans in Star Wars land. Alright. We're heading to the cantina. It's apparently that has a big fly. And it's 11 o'clock in the morning, which sounds like a perfect time to start drinking. Woo! Yeah! We've got some stormtroopers ready to shoot you. Try to escape. Alright. I'm gonna say, while all this stuff is really, really neat, I don't feel immersed in the world. And maybe just like the gajillions of tourists running around. Uh, I think everything looks really cool. They did a nice job really like wearing and tearing on it. Very used, used universe feel. Uh, oh look, a bunch of droids, none of whom are R2-D2. Because uh, we can't have nice things. Stylized doorways. Alright. Apparently, we have to go get in a line to do things. Oh, more droids, including an R2 unit that is not R2 because we can't have nice things. Themed bathrooms. Exciting. Big old time fighter. Of course, themed uh, from the new movies because we can't have these things. Here at the blue milk stand, and they have green milk as well. Gee, I wonder which one I'm gonna get, guys. What do you think? Should I get blue milk or green milk? It's not even like good green milk. It looks like yellowy. It doesn't even. It doesn't even look like the crappy tit milk from the films. But let's see. What would you choose? Would you choose strange sea cow tit milk, uh, or would you choose blue milk like a boss? Spoiler alert: We got blue milk like a boss. Bam. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher. It tastes like bubble gum. Mm. Shit. Or, um, um, trying to get a mustache. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Or um, gummies. Like blue sharks. Blue, oh, shark gummies. blue shark gummies. That's what it tastes like. They melted them down for this. Yes. They murdered blue sharks and melted them down for this. Murdered sharks. Murdered sharks. Murdered sharks. Murdered sharks. Uh, well, if all milk tasted like this, children would have stronger bones. Cheers. Truth. You are in all immediate danger with us, please. Sorry, not while we're on the road. Around the corner, gonna get our first look at the Millennium Falcon. Ourselves a Ronto wrap, which is meat, some more meat, and some bread with some slaw, and it's tasty. 
so that's a, that's a thing you can have here. And then and then our uh, our Tatooine sunsets, which is like an Arnold Palmer but with some extra fruity stuff in it. It's, it tastes like so, peach. They go over all. They're like they're going themed, guys. They're going themed. So here's the place where Disney takes all of your money. Um, Marketplace. It's kind of cool the way they do it visually, you know, they really attention to detail. Spared no expense, as John would say. Uh, you got your wood carvers over there. These wood carving things. You can't buy those, they're just there for funsies, I guess. Here's the shit you can buy. Buy lots of toys. You can get a little salacious crumb doll to sit on your shoulder. Uh, more things you can't buy, which is great. Like the stuff that you'd want, like these amazing little, you know, speeder giant things, not for sale. Uh, but of course, plenty of places to go and buy little critters. You can get a wampa. You can get a million pores. Everything for core, 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 core. You know, overpriced dolls. Ooh, Jedi robes that you're not going to be allowed to wear in the park because you can't wear costumes in Disneyland. So go buy some costumes that you can't wear for a gajillion dollars. Uh, for sure, spend a gajillion dollars here because that's all the new stuff you can wear in the park. Very uh, Star Wars universe appropriate hoodies and t shirts and shirts for your babies, etc. And, uh, Back at the meat place, you can get meat. Also, there you can get multicolored popcorn because apparently popcorn tastes better when it's multicolored. Oh, look, it's Kelly! Drinking a Tatooine sunset, like a bow. And yeah, and that's uh, that's uh, money pit. What asshole wastes their wood carving talents carving porgs? I mean, look at this guy, just carves a bunch of porgs. The porgs are just a tiny little invasive species on one island. We don't even know if they exist in the rest of the galaxy. What, like, what kind of brain damage do you have to have to be like, I'm gonna use my talents in wood carving and just make dozens and dozens of borgs? My people think they're so cute. It Especially just, when you can just carve seems, that thing. Yeah, like when you can carve any of these other, look at that. I mean, look, you got a full on, full on Wookiee bust down there. When you have these kinds of talents, why? Why are you wasting them on porgs? Please explain this to me. That person, whoever runs this shop, should be fired and probably have their hands cut off too. This is where you can spend all the money to make your own droids and we still can't have a proper R2-D2 because we can't have nice things. But you can actually legit buy one. You can get an R2, you can get a 3 po I feel it's kind of crummy, but the R2s are pretty neat. Oh, and of course, you get a BB-8 because everything is about a sequel. Like right. Also, like, if you want, if you don't see options you like, it's like, I mean... Brand new R2 unit just built at the droid shop. Pretty exciting. He's stuck. <laughs> oh, there you go, buddy. So look at him go. He okay. makes noise, too. Okay. He makes noise, too. He makes... He makes noise. He's prompting you to make noise. Uh, there he goes. What a cute guy. He's gonna live a good life. I'm coming into the shop of exciting and rare collectible things if you want to spend all the money to get a oh, really? Dijaric. Oh, you can get your Dijaric figures. Look at them. Look at them. Uh, I'm good. You can get this, this hieroglyphic Java worshipping. Okay. Bitch. I kind of, I That's kind of the exciting. Thrawn, uh, uh, oh, the Thrawn, the Thrawn stuff. That's pretty cool. Sorry. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Grand Admiral. Um, there you go. Oh, pass. Um, and you're a shopkeeper. You know that guy. Yeah, the animatronics on this guy are pretty tight. Oh look, I can mount a, uh, a tauntaun on my wall if I want. More robes can't run park. Should I mini bus? Oh look, you can get Jake Skywalker. How about that? Mm -hmm. 
We got a little bit of original series and prequel stuff going on. A little tiny princess corner just tucked way over here. Like literally we are out in the corner of this place right now. Just shoved in here. Shoved way in the corner because we can't have nice things. Because uh, this is what you do to your strong women, right? Your real strong women of your franchise. You just shove them in the corner out of sight where you can barely even see it. That's smart. Maybe think of to capture any of the original trilogy references because there are so few and far between in this place. This room, this store in here is literally the only place where you can even really find them at all. All right, we are lining up to ride the Millennium Falcon now. Here it is behind me. There's a wall. There's more Falcon. Ooh, I'm very excited for this. This is the thing. This is the thing of all the things in here. This is the only thing that I was excited to do and we're doing it and I'm so excited. Uh, so I will give you a full report. I'll see if I can take any video in the waiting area because that's supposed to be pretty cool And uh, you will of course receive a full report as soon as I'm done. So I hear that the uh, right pilot is the best because they get to actually punch it into hyperspace uh, So I don't know if we get an option as to which position to be But you can guess which one uh, which position I would like to be. Yes, I'm wearing my Han Solo robe because I'm Han Solo and the dude at the same time. Alright, so I just rode the Millennium Falcon ride. Uh, it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Um, I, uh, I'll talk a little more about this later, but I was honestly underwhelmed with the experience of being in the main room of the Falcon, which I thought was gonna be really exciting. So I'm more excited to be in the cockpit. The game itself is, it's, it's a game basically. It's a simulation game. You have gunners, engineers, and pilots, and you actually have, get to control things. Uh, our pilots sucked. Uh, I think the chick that was in charge went up and down has probably just never flown anything before. And the guy in charge going right and left uh, I has, was, was filming it the whole time. So he was definitely not, uh, you know, paying attention to what he was supposed to be paying attention to. Um, but I gotta be a gunner, I gotta shoot things, I go pew 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 pew! And uh, I did manual, uh, even though the first time you do manual or automatic, I was like, I'm a boss, and my accuracy was not great, but I shot all the things I needed to shoot, and uh, that's what matters at the end. And now, uh, I don't know, I just did an amazing mission uh, and shot a bunch of things, I deserve a drink, so I'm gonna get into that cantina and do just that. Da uh, cantina. In the cantina, get in front in the afternoon. Yes. We got our yub nub. Yub -nub. We've got our T16 something Skyhopper. Skyhopper and the Mind Jedi Mind Trick. It's pretty nifty in here. We got a droid DJ in the back. Uh, I don't know if I can grab him for you. He's way back there. It's, uh, spinning tunes for us. And, um, and there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a snack on top of that beverage. It's like a donut on it. That's exciting. Uh, yeah, it's pretty neat in here. Uh, whenever I return to Disney in the future, I'm just going to come in here and drink. 
Yeah, let my friends can come and do whatever they want. I'll be like, I'll come with you and just drink in the casino. And you can get a park hopper. You can drink here and then go to California Adventure and drink, and drink there. more. Life is about drinking, guys. Because that's what Mike does when he comes here, he just drinks. Fair enough. That is what life is about. It's about drinking. Hope you enjoyed the footage and the running commentary. One cool thing happened. I got recognized by somebody, which was really neat, uh, and she gave me a pin, and it was cool. Um, so that was fun. Uh, I, the, the, the riding the ship, I went back and did it a couple more times. I got to be uh, at both the engineer and the pilot. Being the pilot is definitely the coolest, especially when you get to punch the, hyper, the hyperdrive. That, to me, was the most... The most seeing the full-scale Millennium Falcon for the first time, got a couple Fifi's. Um, uh, and then... And then Riding and being in the cockpit and getting to do the game. It wasn't so much like feelings like I feel like I'm doing Star Wars It was just exciting. There's something nice about like I fly the Millennium Falcon uh, And it was exciting. It was a fun. It's a fun ride. It's a good ride like Star Wars elements aside. It's a good ride um, Now that said there is there is some serious serious Original trilogy, original trilogy erasure going on. I mean, it's it's blatant. It's bad. Uh, to the point, I point I showed you. You know, the only place you can really find references to the original set outside of uh, in the droid uh, building area, you can get a C three PO or an R two D two. But you know, the, those are carried over to the newer films. They do have a really bad Chewbacca walking around in costume, but it's like it doesn't even look like him. Like it's the it's too wide. The gray is too pronounced. It's just it doesn't even look like him. Obviously, no one's tall enough, but. Um, rest in peace, Peter Mayhew. Um, even I was expecting to, you know, when I walked onto the, because everyone's talking about that, you know, oh, you walk onto the ship and they built the interior, uh, and you can sit at the at the at the the table, um, and 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 you know, all the the Luke's blaster shield helmet is there and all that, and um, I walked on and I I felt nothing. <laughs> And that was sad. I was sad that it was there, but it was just, it felt like everything else in that place, which was just a money pit. They were just here to grab grab your dollars. But then the only other place you could find in any references to the original was in the uh, the rare collector shop thing. Um, they had like the, the paintings, you know. And then in the corner, your princesses, that's where your, your strong women of Star Wars belong, in the corner where nobody can see them. Uh, next to all of the First Order slash Empire stuff, uh, out of sight, out of mind. They're not even, they couldn't even they didn't have the dignity to put them on the Jedi side of things. This, to make it such a clear point that it's not part of anything else. This is its own little corner that we just shoved off here and hope you wouldn't even notice. Um, and I mean, reasonable, because the way the, the world started, they're not going to be like, Princess Leia's this. They, they said like, royal dress, royal hippies, whatever. Um, because, you know, that's that's how they're, they're uh, uh, that's how they do. Um, everyone, you know, they stay in character pretty impressively, uh, which is, is nice. It, like, adds an element of fun to it. But that's the whole thing. The whole thing is, like, there's no original music. There's no original characters. You got Kylo Ren walking around a little bit. Oh, hooray. Um, but nothing, nothing that feels old or original trilogy about it. Sure, they built a beautiful landscape. They made everything chipped and used down to the, you know, the doors and the bathrooms. Um, they, 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 they spared no expense to get every detail perfectly correct, and, and yet they completely missed the mark. Uh, completely, because the whole thing is, 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 and they sit there and people are like, oh, you're such a baby for acting like Star Wars ruined, like, new Star Wars ruined your childhood, yeah. Uh, but it's like, you're, you're, you're actively erasing the thing that made Star Wars special to me. And it couldn't have been highlighted more starkly than when I left Galaxy's Edge and went over to where they're, they've, tra they've transformed Space Mountain once again into Hyperspace Mountain, and you ride up that, and the original theme plays, and you go through the roller coaster, and, and it's, it's, it's TIE Fighters, um, and Star Destroyers and X-Wings, and you're seeing little flashes and glimpses and whatnot, but they're playing the original soundtrack and, and, and riding through this, you know, top speed, and it just, that feels like Star Wars. That's an immersive experience that makes me go like, I'm in this, I'm in, I'm part of it. And, and you're, it just doesn't, you're just missing that. You're missing that completely uh, in this world. This is a fun world, and that sure, the landscape looks like it could be, sh you could shoot a Star Wars film there, no problem, tomorrow, easily. Uh, but you pack it with tourists, 
uh, all wearing the ray hair. That's, by the way, oh my god, all the female cast members had the ray hair, which is like, why? <laughs> and they were dressed sort of the clothing kind of resembled what she's wearing, and they all had the little the staffs on their backs, because we because everyone had to be a little mini ray clone. And that's the, the greatest part, is too, is you can't even have, like, oh, here's a bunch of women uh, in the Star Wars universe. Like, no, here's a bunch of ray clones, because that's it. That's the only thing. Ray is the best, ray is the everything, and that's all there is to it. And it's just... You just didn't do it right, you know? We want to, like, the, the rest of Disney under gets it, you know? They understand this is not just for the kids, it's for adults who are attached to these movies, who grew up with them. Who have, there's nostalgia value here. Uh, and, and, and you've ripped out all of that nostalgia when you're just going to kill, when you just need to kill the past. When you're just, you're like, oh, nope, we, got, we didn't do this, so we got to just shove it away. We made something far inferior, and we need everyone to forget how much better the originals were, so they'll stop holding us uh, to that standard. That's really why they're doing it, you know, clearly. And it just, it's, it's sad. It's sad, and and so it was this bittersweet thing of walking around. I'm like, okay, that thing's cool. Building a droid is cool. I hear about building a lightsaber. That sounds cool. Smuggler's Run is cool. Going into the cantina that is designed to look like the old cantina. Like, it's one of the few things. You know, it's, it's designed to look like the old cantina inside. Um, and, uh, and the drinks were tasty. You know, they were all that stuff. But it just doesn't... I don't feel like I stepped into Star Wars. I don't. And you're missing a lot of key parts. You're missing references. It doesn't, you don't have to have, you know, the cast members walking around, but references to the fact that these people exist, that they mattered, that they were relevant, that they built, that they were the foundation upon which this world is built. Some acknowledgement of that would have been nice. Would have been nice, but no, no. Why? Say it with me, people. Because we can't have nice things. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and press the like button. Um, make sure that you uh, click all the links that are going to be popping up any second now. If you like this shirt behind me, Jesse Shop First, you can get your very own. That's that's new, some good new Star Wars merch for you. Uh, there'll be a link popping up for that. This is original artwork by that Star Wars girl. Make sure you check her out if you haven't. Why haven't you? Um, and uh, click on the LA Cheesesteak Reviews. We're dropping that trailer on Sunday, so make sure you're subscribed so you get that notification. And then click Get Involved With Me. Um, that will tell you everything else you'll need to know. You need to know about getting involved and staying involved with my channel, including links for um, uh, my Patreon, uh, Teespring to see all my other awesome merchandise, different ways to get involved with me. Um, also on Twitter at Jesse Milestone, on Instagram at Milestone Entertainment. Um, so that's, that's great. That's, uh, that's what I got for you today. So God Empress, ouch. <laughs>